first thing you'll need to do to start assembling your tutu to match your peacock mask is to cut out your felt feathers that will attach to a portion of our tulle on our tutu. The pattern suggests 30. I'm also doing 30 on mine. However, you can choose to do as many or as few as you like. Each feather has four felt pieces to each size and the three smaller pieces all have the double-sided webbing or interfacing attached to them and we're going to iron them on to our main one which has no webbing or interfacing on it. We're going to press these down and you will notice if you are making 30 you will need to cut out 120 pieces all up. If you have a child of the right age and skill set uh, this could be a job for them to assist with. So we'll just go ahead and press our feathers uh, and I'm doing 30 and then we're going to put one stitch down each of our feathers. Using a contrasting thread we're now going to do a single stitch down each feather. You can do this in a production line style without doing any back stitching at the beginning or end, just using a normal stitch length, like so. I won't make you endure any further but as you can see you can keep going and stitch them all in a big long line and then trim them off. When you're cutting your chill for your tutu, particularly if you're using chill on the roll, a little trick that will help save time is actually a piece of cardboard. Cut a piece of cardboard the length that your chill piece needs to be, so that's twice the length of the size of the, sk the skirt length that you would like and then take your tulle, hold it to the top and then simply wrap your tulle from the roll around your cardboard and you wrap it around however many times that you need to to get the right amount of tulle that you need for your tutu Then, when you've got enough, trim your tulle from the roll Then, holding your tulle and cardboard together, insert your scissors so your scissors are right up against the cardboard and just snip along the top Hold that tool against the cardboard, flip it up the other side and then do exactly the same at the other end. So insert your scissors right up against the cardboard and trim right up against the top. And there you have it. And this way you'll easily be able to cut 50 or 100 lengths of tool in minutes rather than measuring out each length of tulle one by one. Once we've sewn all our feathers together we are now going to select 15 pieces of tulle to apply our feather felt feather pieces to. And so we'll be stitching out on an angle from the bottom of our felt up into the corner on each side like so. I'll be repeating this step just for the other side of the feather.
and I will repeat the exact same process for the other end of this piece of tulle. So each piece of tulle will have two pieces of felt feather applique on it. Once you've stitched all your feathers onto the tulle pieces, you should have a pile that looks similar to this. I am now going to show you how to insert the tulle into the crochet headband version of the tutu. If you're doing the ribbon version, it's slightly different, but the tie is very similar. What you'll need to do is, is you'll need to take your pieces of tulle, fold it in half, insert that loop into one of the holes in the crochet headband along the bottom of the headband. Pull the loop through, find the opening and then you'll insert the tail through that hole and then you just need to pull it tight and there you have your first tie and then you'll repeat along the bottom of the headband. Once you get onto your second layer that is when you insert some of your feathered pieces of tulle so you've got your nice feather layer on the top. So I've completed my lower layer of tulle now and I'm going to add in those peacock feathers into this layer and instead of layering folding the tulle in half I'm going to layer it unevenly so it shows off those uh, felt feathers really nicely. So we just need to put the tulle through the hole exactly the same way as we did with our lower layer. Find the opening and then just thread our feathers through and pull and there we have it and you may like to do more at the back or choose a back side for your tutu and put more on the back as opposed to the front so it looks like a real peacock's tail so once you've added your top layer of tulle your tutu should look similar to that of mine here this is the mask and the peacock tutu together the peacock mask and tutu patterns can be found on the Rebecca Page website. Thank you for sewing with me today. See you next time. Bye.